Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, decided to make a quick video tutorial on how to transfer sounds from my main D Drum 4 SE to my backup. Um, my main has a bunch of sounds that I've imported and uh, I basically want my backup to have the same sound. Um, in this case, my backup used to have the same sound, but during transport, um, somehow it got erased. So basically what I want to do is, is transfer it back. So here's how you do it. I'm going to power both units on, and uh, as you can see, they both default to the uh, operating system 1.54, and then they go to the uh, default uh, PAL setting. And these programs are both program one. Um, so what I first want to do is erase what's going on on my backup um, just to make sure that it's a clean install and then uh, that way I can transfer it over. So basically how you do that is you hit the system button until you get to MIDI dump and then you have to hit it a few different times until you see F. And then I want to do F all, which, it, which basically means factory uh, reset all, right? So then I'm going to hold down shift and hold down exit. And it's going to basically do a countdown saying that it's deleting. So now it's done. So now when I hit my, my first program, which is my kick, uh, that's one of the factory settings, 703. If you can see here, I want it to be 994, which is my sound. Um, so what I've done is I've already hooked up the MIDI out of my of my main unit into my MIDI in of my backup. And one way to test that is if you trigger this unit, you'll see that it triggers the next unit. Vice versa, it doesn't work. Okay, so we know that it's connected via MIDI, MIDI out to MIDI in. So now what I want to do is I want to go up here to my main unit and I want to hit shift mark. And now it's going to flash saying that it's ready. The uh, MIDI data is, is ready to be transmitted basically. Um, so I basically want to tell it okay by hitting shift or holding down shift and exit. And then you'll see that this says um, that it's dumping and that's doing a countdown of the MIDI transmission. So once that's done, you hit exit on the main unit and then you come back to your backup unit. And what you want to do is hit sound. And now you, uh, you can see that it still says 703. But what you want to do is change the sound to 994 with your rotary wheel and then it's gonna have the same sound as the other one. So in order to keep that sound there, you wanna hit shift, exit, which is also a uh, kit store. Um, program one, you hit okay, um, and there you go. So now when you hit your sound, now you see that's different. And I also want that to be 994 because uh, it's two kicks. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's the easiest way to transfer sounds from one D drum uh, for SE to the next. And uh, if anyone has any questions about the D drum, feel free to hit me up on here and I'll try to answer any questions the best I know how.